Hi, I'm Brett Larson. I'm the editor of the Mille Lacs Messenger, bringing you a Friday news report. A um, few things that we're working on this week, stories to watch for in next week's uh, Mille Lacs Messenger, March 26th. Things I've been up to, covered the county board meeting on Tuesday. It was pretty uneventful, but they did uh, announce the, um, the winning bids for the Sioux Lion properties that were... Uh, that were auctioned off by Mille Lacs County uh, by the Sioux Line overpass. Um, working on a story, an update on Izades, uh, the auction. Some people read my story last week and thought that meant that the auction was off. It's not off, it just means that what they'll be auctioning off doesn't correspond to the um, descriptions on the Albert Bernie website. That's the auction company that will be auctioning it off. But it's still on for April 3rd at 11 a.m., I believe. And then I also uh, met with uh, Larry Nickaboyne, who's one of the seven candidates running for chief of the Mille Lacs Band, and there will be a story on Larry in next week's paper. I'm Diane Gibbous, and I am working on this week the Isle School Board story, which is kind of boring. It's a school board story, but you should read it anyways because there's some interesting stuff in there. Um, an article on Indian education and the disparity between uh, Indian test scores and the rest of the population's test scores uh, is included in that. That's pretty interesting, I think. And I'm do I did a story on geocaching, which is walking through the woods with a GPS looking for something somebody has hidden. And we don't know what it is or what it looks like, but we're going to find something. And there's going to be a class on March 29th, which I'm going to go to the class and see if I can do this and find anything in the woods. I think that'll be fun. And that's it. Hi, I'm Rob Passens. I'm Messenger Staff Writer. Uh, what Brett failed to mention is that this is a story assignment sheet, a storyboard as we call it. Without this, we pretty much cease to function here. Brett spends hours every week putting this thing together, so let's go ahead and get rid of that. This is what I'm working on this week. <laughs> I had a column come up. Uh, one of our outdoor columnists uh, apparently moved, so I had to cover that. I'm talking about the dead mice falling off my garage. I think it's a terrific piece. Um, what do we got here? Mary Hawkins, quilter extraordinaire. She works right down the street here. I actually bought a quilt from her. I couldn't resist. Uh, the chess king of Wacon, Mike Eden. He did an 8-foot square, 250-pound chess set. I think it looked terrific in a garden somewhere. Sandy Reichel is back from her, what do you call that meeting? Uh, Sarah. Sarah meeting in Washington. And she had some interesting comments. I'm writing a little story on that. And... Uh, Winter in review. People are saying this was a cold winter. Well, it turns out they're right. It was cold. I got an interesting uh, interview with a guy that's been here since 1912. You want to talk about cold winters? Yeah, he knows some. Um, oh, and the crappie bite on Isle Bay. Talked to Captain Ron. He's probably out there right now. It's 3.04. The crappie started biting four minutes ago, so I got to run. But that's pretty much what I'm doing this week. Thanks. Hi. <laughs> See, I knew I'd laugh, but hi, I'm Vivian Clark, a, a writer at Mille Lacs Messenger, and this week I've been doing a little, a couple little stories on the crime beat, as usual. Um, we have a uh, um, Mille Lacs County court's been really busy. There's been a young man that was arrested back in January, was on trial, jury trial this week, and jury returned a verdict. You can read all about that. Um, we had a burglary in Isle, Mille Lacs County, that led to uh, a counterfeit operation in Aiken County. So that's a pretty interesting little story. And then um, next week I'm going to look into some solar energy. Uh, some companies around here that are doing, uh, going green and doing solar and, and heating with wood and things like that. Um, and also a new SAD group, the Students Against Destructive Decisions, I believe is how, what it is. They're starting at Nayashing High School. So that'll be interesting, and it'll go just in right at the right time for prom season, which will lead to um, teenage drinking story. 
So that's coming up. And then um, there are a couple cases in the courthouse, the Mille Lacs County Courthouse next week that I'll be covering for the week after. So that'll be interesting. Thanks. <laughs> well, that's about it for us this week. Um, just a few things this weekend if you're thinking of heading out. Um, we've got some Easter egg hunts. Flagship Saturday at 1 p.m. Lunch will be served. Bring your kids over there. It's another one at Onamia um, Community Center, 11 a.m., followed by a bunny lunch. And the ILJC's Easter egg hunt, 10 a.m. at the IREC gym, meet the Easter bunny. Um, you can get out to a Grand Casino Easter buffet, $13.99, I see. There's some movies in town for the family. Horton Hears a Who, Never Back Down, 10,000 B.C., Drill Bit Taylor. My son wants me to take him to that one. And uh, take a look at this ad in the paper from last week. Spring Fling for the Mille Lacs Area Health Foundation. This is going to be April 19th at Rutgers. It's a fundraiser for the health system in Onamia. Uh, and I would recommend that. The Rock and Hollywoods will be there. It's a nice dinner and it's 50 bucks a person and it goes to a good cause. April 19th. And you can uh, call the health system 532-2604 for information. That's it for this week. See, uh, don't forget to get the paper next week and check out our website.